Hey guys, today I'm back in Besiege, and I want to try beating the campaign using only four pieces. Now, the game's going to consider this as five pieces, since the starting block counts as one as well, but in general, it's going to be dead weight, and I'm going to need to rely on the other four to beat the level. So, let's get right into it. So, starting out the first level here, all I have to do is destroy this single house, and I figured the easiest way to do that would just be to set it on fire, and I could do that literally with a single block. So, I put down a flaming ball, you might have saw that before, and just have to roll it right up against the starting cube, and that'll put push it right into the house. And it doesn't end up destroying it immediately, but after quite a bit of time, once it catches on fire, ends up just exploding on its own, and that beats the level. Now, they all aren't going to be this easy, though, and level 2 proves to be slightly more challenging. The thing is, the windmill's up a little bit, so I can't just roll something into it, and my new solution is just to use the rocket. This is fundamentally the same thing, and once it explodes, it ends up just beating the level. Now, level 3, I beat in a really similar way to level 2, and because of that, in the future, all the levels that have really similar solutions, I'm just going to cut out because generally they're really easy and they don't really add much to the video. But level 4, things got significantly more challenging. I need to get the starting cube to that insignia and there's no amount of rockets or flaming balls that'll beat this level so I had to build a car. And in order to do this, I put down a couple of wheels in the front and I can't put wheels in the back but what I can do is put down a log and that's only 3 blocks here and if I use some sort of tank drive steering, I'm able to get all the way to the end and beat the level. And after that, loaded up the next level and it was just another rocket level. But after that, things got way harder. Now, in Mainland's encampment here, I need to destroy a lot of the guys, the cannons, and the tents in order to beat the level. And at first, just randomly sending in a bomb and a rocket didn't seem to get far. And changing everything to rockets also didn't seem to improve the situation, so I added in some cannons. These have a lot more power to get through the guys, and it seemed to be getting through them a lot easier, but my collateral damage was kind of garbage now, and I wasn't really moving the progress bar up enough. So my next thought was using a bomb to launch the starting cube and a flaming ball into everything here. The thing is, since I need the starting cube to be there anyway, I figured I might as well just use it as ammo, but it wasn't really doing enough damage here. Same problem with the cannons, the collateral damage wasn't that great. So I tried using one of my cars again, but the problem was I can't really get close enough without the cannon shooting me, and even if I could, the archers are just going to destroy this immediately. So I tried using crossbows maybe, but these again just don't have enough spread to them, and I wasn't really getting enough damage. But that's when I realized I could use the hot air balloon block, and this is actually a very new block, and it seems to be really over overpowered here. You see as they go up in the air, as long as I drop the bomb on them, that should work really well. And this block has auto stabilization and it keeps me at the same height and everything, so I figured I might as well try using it. Now I put a repeller on the front and I also switched out the bomb for a flamethrower and this is because I didn't want the archers destroying my bombs anymore, but even at this height the cannons are still able to get me so it's really no better to use the flamethrowers and that's when I went back to the bomb here and I tried dropping it on them and that did quite a bit more damage. Now I gave it another shot here and I dropped the bombs in the tents, but this seemed to be not that much progress. So one last time I dropped the bomb on the archers and as the other guys were coming in they just happened to catch on fire and this was just enough damage to beat the level. Now loading up the next level here it's pine lumber site and you have to get one of these cubes of logs over to the insignia and in order to do that I deleted the bomb and I put in a gear and with that in place I have a pretty much fully functioning flying machine able to do whatever. This is pretty much all thanks to the hot air balloon block and without that this would have been a much harder challenge. And of course, here you can see, end up just getting right over on that insignia and beating the level. And with one more level where I just drop a bomb on something, that ends up beating the island. Now, starting at an island 2 here, you gotta avoid all of these animals with bombs strapped to them, because why not, I guess? And after that, you have to land on these insignias. And at first, I thought I was gonna actually have to land, but thankfully, I just hover over them, and that's enough to pretty easily beat that level. Now, the next level was this village level, and you have to destroy quite a bit of it, and this was proving quite challenging for my flamethrower. This this beat a lot of levels in the past, but the problem is, I keep catching myself on fire, and I end up running out of flamethrower power after enough time, so I had to switch to my car, and I put down a water cannon. Now, of course, I can't catch myself on water, so this should be fine, but also, the water cannon's really good for pushing over these pots, which actually count towards the progress of the level. I don't know exactly why that's the case, but it makes it pretty easy, because I'm able to just ram a bunch of buildings, and with just that, I beat the level. Next up here is Midland Patrol, and this one's also pretty easy. I just guide the guys, literally just to destroy their own tents here, and only the last two do I actually need to run into. So with only four blocks, that one was pretty easy. Now next up here is Odd Contraption, and this one's usually pretty hard. You have to rotate around that crank a few times, and to get this to work normally, it's a little bit annoying. But here I realized I put the grabber on the side of the balloon, I'm able to latch onto it, and if I use my spinning block, I'll be able to push around the wheel, and if I use the hot air balloon to pull up and push down the wheel, pretty easily I'm able to get all the way around, and that beats the level. Now next up is Surrounded, and this one 
one's actually usually not that hard, but here is the first level I couldn't beat immediately. Now, normally you have to destroy all but two of the cannons, and I was having a lot of trouble with that. Just using rockets, I was getting nowhere near that number, and a flaming ball wasn't able to catch them on fire. So next, I tried using a shrapnel cannon. Now, this ends up destroying the two cannons in front of it, and then it flies back, and that destroys another cannon. But if all of them are destroying three cannons, it's just barely not enough to beat the level. On my best attempt, I had three cannons remaining, and I really had no way to get the other cannon. And you can see this slow-mo, the cannons fire randomly. They are all going to fire at the same time, which means it's really difficult to space the cannons apart so they don't hit each other. So after enough attempts, I decided I'd come back to that one. And next up is the Venerated Heart. Now, normally you have to open up the middle area by putting two objects in the pressure pads, and I'm still going to do that now. But instead of making it two objects from my own machine, I decided to drag over one of these dead enemies, and I was going to use him as my first object on the pressure pad. This worked well enough, and in fact, you don't need to be on the pad, you just have to be really close to it. So with at least the one guy down, I needed something else, but they were rolling around a lot, and I realized the tree would probably be a better way to go here. So I knocked one down, and I picked it up just using this, and it was actually a little bit too heavy, so I had to just drag it all the way over. But once I did that, I put it down on the pad, and it doesn't roll at all, so open up the middle area, and with that, I'm able to get into it. And to beat the final level, it was honestly just another flamethrower level, so with that done, that was that island beat, and the next one is going to be significantly harder. Now, this first level here is extremely difficult, so I just try flying to the end using this current machine. You notice I just get flung way back, and I end up hitting into the rocks there. It's just really not going to work. So I had to redesign my car, and this time I put a flying block, pushing it into the ground, and that gave me just enough traction that I was able to get all the way to the end without dying. And the very next level here was also quite hard. Now, I need to ring all of these bells at pretty much the same time, and just trying to ram it using the flying machine wasn't really working. I didn't really move it that much, and you also noticed I just ended up dying. So I replaced it with these cannons instead, and the hope was I could use three cannons to hit all the bells, and two seemed to work, but the middle one seemed to have a little too much mass, and the cannon just wasn't able to get it going. So I tried switching it out for a rocket, but this seemed to have even less impact on it, and I think that's intentionally done so that you can't just randomly shoot it with rockets. But then I tried using the shrapnel cannon, and that also didn't seem to work. So I deleted the cannon, and after I did that, I put down a flying block on the starting cube. This at first wasn't that great, because the ballast to put down was a little too heavy, so I replaced it with a flying block, and with that, I was able to run into the belt here, and I could have it swing back and forth more and more, and this actually worked to get some progress. So I shot the other two bells, that gave them just enough power to ring, and after a little while, I was able to get the middle one to ring as well, and that beat the level. Now, next up is the Martyr Knights, and this one is kind of hard. I tried using a flamethrower for it, but the main problem is, the knights are throwing axes at me, so if they hit me, I'm pretty much just going to instantly die, and you see that here. So I needed another solution, and I tried using a vacuum block, just out of curiosity to see what would happen, and at first I was doing backflips because of the amount of power it had, but then I realized it was really powerful. It was going around and just destroying these guys, so I just set one off on its own at max power, and that seemed to work really well. It would just automatically target them and just run into them, which would kill them. So I added in two more, and I figured I might as well give this a shot, and after that, I just let them rip here, and they seemed to work well. I had them bunch up, unfortunately, but it didn't really change much, and they were eventually able to just beat the level. Now, next up here is the gold collection level, and normally for this one, you have to pick up the gold like this and bring it to the insignia. Now, I'm not going to change any of that, but what I am going to change is that normally you're supposed to blow up the mountain. I don't have enough blocks to really do that, so instead, I realized there's actually explosive canisters automatically built into the level, and with these, I'm going to try blowing up the entire mountain. Now, it took a little while to get the positioning right, but after not too long, I was able to free a single single piece of gold. And I need one more, so I just blew up the top of the mountain, and it didn't do that much damage, but it picked up one last explosive canister, and with this one, I was able to do a lot of damage to the front of the mountain. So with all the gold exposed, all I have to do is get it to the end, and it wasn't trivial, but it definitely was pretty easy, and after picking up all these blocks here, I was able to just drag them over to the end. Now the next level is Mountain Barrier, and this one was deceivingly hard. All you have to do is destroy the barrier, and I figured a bunch of rockets would literally just get the job done here, but that wasn't even close. It run into the barrier and put some small holes in it, but it wasn't really breaking it at all. So then I switched over to cannons here, and I was hoping I'd be able to use these cannons to shoot straight through this, but it really wasn't doing that much damage. They would also put small holes in here and not really get anywhere. And that's when I decided to put down a flying block, and if I put a bomb down on the end of a grabber, I should be able to fling it right into the wall. Now, my first attempt didn't work out so well. It was a little bit low, but with enough careful tuning, I was able to get it to go into the wall, and it did a lot of damage here, but it was still about 30% away from what I needed. Now, that's when I decided to add in a cannon as well, because I had one extra block to use, and that did a 
little bit of damage to the top and got me a little closer, but it still just wasn't good enough. Now my big breakthrough came when I realized I could throw the bomb into the wall, and if I get it to go a lot higher, that gets me a lot closer to finishing. And after enough tries, I got it to go right into the wall, and that seemed to instantly destroy it and beat the level. Now Relic Frost, in my opinion, is one of the most difficult levels in the game, and the reason for that is you have to get this cube to the insignia. That in itself isn't that bad, but the thing is, if you get close to the cube, it'll freeze and break any flying machines, and also there's zero gravity, so you need some way to push yourself against the ground. Now I started out by making a car here, I totally forgot I couldn't use flying pieces, so I tried using it to push me down here, but this of course didn't work and just broke right off. And I couldn't really think of a great way to do this, so I decided to exit for now and move on to the next island. Now starting out with Towering Eye, this one you pretty much just have to destroy the tower, and it started out I put down a rocket and I was hoping to destroy some stuff, but the rocket seemed to not really do too much, but I realized shooting the starting cube actually did seem to be really good here. So I decided to move these over and then added on a second ballast and bomb. This did a little bit more damage and with that I was getting a lot closer to beating this. Now I had a single extra block to use here, so I put down the cannon and I was just going to shoot randomly at one of the towers and hope to do just enough damage to break it. Now at first it fell down and this seemed to be really really close to beating it, so just a few more tries I finally got it to fall a better way and that beat the level. The next up is Forgotten Sanctum, which is definitely one of the most tedious levels in the entire game. The goal of this level is to use the mirror to angle the light to the middle pot and hold it there for like about five seconds. This though is really annoying to get right and it took a ton of grabber positions till I finally got it to grab it the right way and even then after like a solid five minutes of messing around I finally got it to rest in the middle and it did it for just long enough that I could beat the level. Now next up is Mesa Outpost which should have been an easy level but proved to be very difficult. So I started out with a flamethrower here and I was going to ignite the cannons but the thing is they're so good at aiming they pretty much just kill me if I get close to them at all. And of course trying out the vacuum block again pretty much the exact same story. I just get near the cannons they just destroy me. So then I tried using a water cannon to be able to push these around from a further distance but it just did not have enough power and the cannon still would just destroy me immediately. That's when I decided to go back to the grabber and I was just going to pick these up and move them around. Now the first cannon I actually picked up the guy which was kind of funny and after quite a while I managed to pick up this very last cannon here and I had to shake these around a ton in order to get them to destroy themselves. This one is being particularly annoying but after running into these guys I finally got it to destroy and that beat the level. Now the next level here is ambush and this one I have some bad news about but I'll get to that in a little bit. Now to start here you need to kill literally everyone and there's a bunch of archers in the top and as you see here they could just shoot out my balloon. Now my first idea was to put a water cannon on the bottom instead of a grabber. I was hoping I could use this to push all the archers off and do it from a pretty far distance but it didn't really seem to work and I was still getting shot out almost immediately. So then I tried using a crossbow and I was going to use this to shoot all the guys from a distance but it's so inaccurate and it has a limited number of shots so I really would need to hit all of them perfectly which just is not going to happen. So then I switched out for a sword and I figured maybe I could use that to hit all the guys but the problem with this is it's just really inaccurate and I have to be really close to them so preventing getting shot works but it's incredibly difficult and after enough bad luck I'm just going to fall apart. And after I saw this I was just going to deem it theoretically possible but incredibly difficult to pull off because it would just require insane luck and the archers would have to miss like every single time. The last level in the campaign though was going to be a lot harder and for this one I put down a flamethrower and originally I was just going to go up to this big ship here and try to destroy it. The thing is though this ship is nothing like any of the other ones because it can move around and this cannon is really good so it could just hit me from any angle. So I tried going right up to it and burning it but that caught me on fire which wasn't that great and of course the cannon just kept shooting me and if I tried to go up above it the ship would also rise which made getting around it really hard. But after a while I finally got it destroyed and while I was on the ground I tried killing all of these guys but the thing was this wasn't really close to level completion even if I killed all of them it wasn't going to be that great and that's when I realized I could destroy the castle using the ship. It has horrible AI so it'll shoot right through the walls to kill me and after enough attempts I finally got it to destroy most of the castle before it destroyed itself and after that I just lunged into the castle with a single block and that was just enough to finally beat the level. Now I'm not quite done yet though because there's a few rematches and the first one is going to be on this level. Now the cube I started out I just wanted to make another car and I put down a water cannon and I was going to use this to push me down. This kind of worked except it flipped me around which wasn't great. So what I ended up doing is moving the water cannon to the back and you see here I'm adding in a vacuum block. This pushes me a single block over my limit which isn't great but at this point I just wanted to see if I could do it with 
one extra block. So with all that in place, I drove over to the right and I tried pulling in the cube. This seemed to work mostly and I was getting it pretty close to the machine. And after a while, I stopped pulling it in, I backed up and I just kept repeating this process until I got it all the way to the insignia. So I didn't love that I was using the extra block, but I really did feel like I reached the minimum here because every single block has a really, really important purpose. Now, next up is a level I actually didn't show before and it's because I really made zero progress on it. And the main issue with it is that I have a bunch of guys throwing axes at me. So if they get near anything, they're just gonna kill me. Now, occasionally this tower in the middle just destroys itself for seemingly no reason, but it's pretty random. And I realized I could use that to my advantage if I had some cannons shooting all of the towers. This did not really seem to be that great though. And it took a lot of tries to finally get a tower to actually destroy itself. But with the one cannon done, I added in some more here and these would destroy the other towers. The problem though is I needed at least two cannonballs to destroy the right tower. And with that, even if the middle tower destroyed itself, it still wasn't enough damage to really get anywhere. Now I deleted all the cannons and I had a new idea here that I thought would be a little weird. Now I actually discovered this in my shotgun video, but the basic idea is I'm gonna put down a ballast and attach it using a single spring to the starting block. And you'll notice immediately, it's not that bad. I'm able to move it back and forth and get quite a bit of speed on it. But to get it to go all the way to the buildings, I'm gonna need to do something else. And for that, I just weakened the spring a lot. This gave it a lot more throw. And after that, I'm able to go really far distances and just wipe out buildings in a single hit. The problem though, is getting it to line up right is very difficult. It took a lot of tries to finally get it to hit all the buildings. And after an extensive period of time, finally I managed to get it to hit everything and beat the level. And you see here, I pretty much just copied the solution over to Surrounded and that beat that level pretty easily. So guys, thanks for watching. I was actually surprised at just how many levels you could pretty much beat with a single flamethrower, but I thought there was still a pretty good amount of variety in there. And a lot of these solutions required some creative thinking. So if you have any more challenge ideas, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Make sure to like the video if you liked the video. And until next time.